No, the Trump administration did not lose 1,500 immigrant kids. They aren't ripping children away from their mothers or keeping children in dog kennels. And if you have bought into the media's lies about all of this, listen up. The left spent the weekend blasting the Trump administration for its handling of illegal aliens at the border, accusing him of losing children, tearing apart families, and keeping children in cages like dogs. And surprise, they're lying. Here's MSNBC's Chris Hayes with the first big fat one. Last month, the New York Times reported that HHS lost track of nearly 1,500 migrant children placed with sponsors. Of more than 7,000 unaccompanied minors, those are uh, minors who come without parents who cross the border, that's 1,500 children lost by the government. No, Chris, the Trump administration did not lose 1,500 kids. For those of you who have not been paying attention since, like, 2013, here's how this works. Unaccompanied kids come across the border and get stopped by border agents. They're processed and turned over to the Office of Refugee Resettlement. Then they're sent to sponsors who already live in the United States. Most of these sponsors are the kids' parents or close relatives. The vast majority of the sponsors are illegal. They don't want to get deported, so they don't show up for the kids' court date. Instead, they move, so the government can't find them. The administration is not losing kids. The kids and their families aren't staying put. How do I know all of this? Because I was writing about it four years ago when it was happening under Obama. This isn't new. In fact, here's a clip from a CBS article published in February of 2016. It says, and I quote, Finding immigrant children with outstanding deportation orders is also complicated by the fact that they often are no longer at the addresses provided to the government. We're out looking, ICE official Thomas Homan said, but they are hard to find. A lot of these folks who don't show up in court, we don't know where they're at. So all of these leftists freaking out over Trump losing kids, where was your outrage back in 2016? Actually, why haven't you been concerned with the thousands of kids who slipped through the cracks for the past half a decade? The Trump administration has placed about 16,000 kids with sponsors this fiscal year. Obama placed over 52,000 in 2014 alone, and home visits were conducted for less than 6%. Where was all of your righteous indignation then? Oh, and the lies get better. The left is also accusing the Trump administration of ripping children out of the arms of their mothers at the border. Once again, let's break this down. What's happened, and rightly so, is that the Trump administration ended the Obama-era catch-and-release policy, which essentially allowed any adult who came across the border with a child to be given a notice to appear in court and sent on their way. And surprise, about 80% of them don't show up for their hearing. Now here's what the media won't tell you. Left-wing federal judges in places like California have ruled that the government cannot detain minors at an immigration detention facility for more than 20 days. But the government can detain the adult parent. Now, this helps deter illegal immigration and hold immigration violators accountable while keeping vulnerable children from being locked up with adults in a detention facility. This is not rocket science. The only other options would be to incarcerate the children with the parent, which is illegal and would probably go over like a lead balloon, or to simply let all these adults go and not prosecute illegal immigration at all. And we see how well that's worked out. See, Trump did not create this situation. He's just dealing with the mess. Oh, and here's the really fun one. Here's a photo of an immigration detention center that has circulated over the weekend. Thousands of liberals lost their minds over images of kids being kept in cages, blaming Trump for treating kids like dogs. Now here's the problem with this photo. It's from 2014. Guess who was president in 2014? Hint, not Trump. In fact, many of those who freaked out over this photo ended up deleting their tweets once they realized it was from the Obama era. So to all those bleeding heart liberals who suddenly care so much about the children at our border, here's my question. Where has all this outrage been for the last half a decade? Where was your anger that Obama's lax immigration policies were resulting in thousands of people being packed in like cattle in dirty warehouses infested with scabies and lice? Here's a photo that I took in 2014 during a border tour in Texas. I was screaming about it. Where were you? Where were you when border agents were telling me that they had found dead bodies of children abandoned in the desert after being used by human smugglers as a golden ticket into the U.S.? Where were you when Obama was dumping thousands of children into communities across the United States, never to be heard from again? 
Where were you in 2016 when the Washington Post was reporting that the Obama administration was funneling unaccompanied children to human traffickers, slavers, and abusers? Oh, but now Trump's president, so you care about the children. Now that we're trying to fix the mess that liberal policies have created at our border, oh, now you're paying attention. Bull. You don't give two craps about these kids or their parents, because if you did, you would have cared four years ago when we were sounding the alarm about all of this. But you didn't. Because you care more about slamming Trump than about any of these children. This, this, this is a humming speed. This, this is a humming speed.